Yo, what's good? I love basketball TV. Today we have a full basketball workout to prepare you for in-game scenarios. Let's dive into it. First, we're going to start off with our handle. And in our first drill, we're going to be training our ball control. You need to have elite level ball control to have an elite handle. If you can't dribble the basketball without fumbling it or dropping it, there is no way you can get to that elite level Kyrie handle. So what we want to do in our first drill is start off with a wide base, making sure our feet are outside of our shoulders, like always. Then we're going to start off with our in and out. When we go in and out, we want to imagine there is a pole going straight through the middle of our body, and we want to break that pole with just one bounce. Our second move is a V dribble. So we want to break that same pole, this time with two bounces. So it's one, two. After that V dribble, then we're going cross between behind. That's a five dribble combination. Now the ball is in our right hand, repeating that same five dribble combination. We're going in and out first, V dribble second, cross between behind you want to make sure you are pushing your handle so you are dribbling the basketball hard there is no way you're going to get a better handle if you are simply tapping or playing with the basketball you want to get a wide base and make sure you're pounding the basketball hard and pushing yourself as hard as you can go so with our next drill we are working on our ability to change levels while dribbling the basketball nobody in basketball plays the entire game low and nobody plays the entire game standing straight up. There's a mix between both. So you need to work on your abilities to go from high and then low as well. So what we're gonna do to train that ability is go too high, too low freestyle. So I want you to do, start off standing straight up with your knees straight, performing two crossovers, whatever two crossovers you want, but they have to be standing straight up. So let's say you perform two between behind after that second one, now you're dropping low, one, two, going another two, while you're low. At the same time, you can float from side to side as well. So you're using the space in front of you. You don't need to stand stationary in one spot. So what that looks like is sometimes I'm high for two and then low for two. High for two bounces, low for two bounces. So you wanna make sure you're switching up between those two levels. For our third drill, we're going to be moving up the floor a little bit, focusing on the small details. When you're at trials, coaches love players so they can tell things to once, maybe twice, and they can go out there and execute it right away. So pay attention to the small details and let's get to work. So with this first drill, we're going to start off with that wide base. You're going to step inside foot first. So if the ball's in my right hand, I'm stepping with my left foot first. One step, two step, I cross over. Now the ball is in my left hand, step again. Now with my right foot, one step, now I'm stepping with my left foot, crossing the ball over again. As I cross over, I'm going right into my speed stop behind the back. So I cross over, now my left foot goes, and then my right foot goes, now I'm behind the back. From this position, I'm going reverse between the legs. So now I have to step my left foot back between, then my right foot back between. Now the ball is my left, I repeat that cycle over again. So now I'm going right, left, cross, left, right, cross, right, left, speed stop behind the back, two reverse steps between, between. I'm doing that all the way up the floor. Yes, it's a lot of footwork, and yes, it's probably gonna take you a while to get up the floor, but keep going and push yourself. A small detail you can pay attention to as you're working your way up the floor is making sure you're changing your pace. As you're going reverse steps for between the legs, don't rush that. So you don't wanna go fast, fast. You want to control your pace. So what you wanna do is actually go slow, slow, then drop into fast, fast, and then a fast stop. Now you're going reverse, slow, slow. So paying attention to the small details about speed change. Now we're gonna dive into the finishing portion of this workout. We're going to get into our mic-ins. This drill serves kind of like a warm-up. We're gonna get set up on one side, making a layup on this side, stepping across, and then finishing the layup on the other. You're gonna make 10 in a row just like that. Then you're gonna turn and now you're facing away from the hoop, doing the same thing, making 10 in a row, taking one layup, stepping across, and then making the next. Coaches love doing drills like this during tryouts to see if you can finish with both hands. This is why they serve as kind of like a warm up and just a general test so the coaches can see very easily who can make layups with both hands. So for our next finishing drill, we want to get set up right in the middle of the free throw line. We're going to perform a single crossover. It can be in front, between, behind the back. It does not matter. 
after you perform your crossover, you want to attack, get outside that lane line. Now you're going inside hand floater. So if I'm going to the left, I want to perform a right-handed floater, making sure we try to make five all net on both sides. So if you're going to the right side, same thing, get nice and low, perform that crossover, get outside that lane line. Now you're going left hand, going to the right side, going five all net floaters. So with this drill, we have our five spot finishes. What you wanna to do to get set up is get your head underneath the rim. Now you're going to be looking towards half court. So you should be looking towards the other side of the floor. You're gonna pick a corner. Let's say you pick the left corner. You're gonna start off dribbling in your left hand. You're gonna to sprint towards that corner, curl around that chair and attack the hoop. Once you attack the hoop, you're trying to jump from outside the lane line and the reverse layup on the other side. If you cannot jump that far, just scoot in on your takeoff and try your best to get to the other side. With your next shot, you're going to start with your head underneath the rim again, sprinting towards that same corner. So let's say you're sprinting towards the left corner. Now you're curling out. Now you should be lifting and turning that ball over to the next chair. Once you get to the next chair or the next spot, which should be on the wing, you're performing a single crossover attacking hard. Once you attack, you're trying to go with a high glass finish, making sure the ball hits above that white square. Once you make that shot, you're getting back underneath with your head under the rim, rolling the ball straight out, going towards the top of the key. You're going to land on the hop. Once you catch the ball, you're going to reverse pivot and then attack hard. This time you're getting into the inside hand floater and you're trying to make it all net. Then once you make that shot, you're switching sides on your reverse pivot. So you're still staying in the middle, rolling it out, but now you're just gonna reverse pivot the other way. Now you're switching your hand on your inside hand floater. To keep going, you're going to do the same thing on the other side of the floor, but this time you're going to the right corner, dribbling the ball in your right hand and repeating the same thing all the way through. The only difference is once you get to going up the middle. So now instead of going reverse pivot, you're going to go forward pivot, but still get an inside hand finish for your floater. So to get started with the shooting portion of this workout, we're gonna get started with a warm up, stepping right in front of the hoop, making two shots. After we make our two shots, we're gonna take two steps back and then make another two shots. We're gonna repeat that cycle of make two and then step back to as far back as we can go comfortably. If you can get all the way to the NBA range and make two shots, that's perfect. If you can only stop at the free throw line comfortably and make two, that's perfect as well because that's how we're gonna get started with our warm up. So with this next drill, you're going to start off in the middle of the free throw line, right at that nail spot. You're going to start off facing away from the hoop so your back should be to the basket. You're gonna start off nice and low. All you're going to do is bounce the ball on one side of your body. So if you bounce it on the right side, you're gonna take a shuffle step to the left, then turn, find the basketball. You're going to pivot with a one, two step into your shot and you're just gonna catch and shoot. Your goal is to try to make 10 on each side. So 10 turning to the right side and then 10 turning to the left side. So what you wanna do is get set up on a wing in the mid range, a couple steps below the three, right? So what you wanna do is get set up with the ball in your right hand if you're on the right side or with your left hand on the left side. You're gonna get set up with a nice and wide base, starting off nice and low. Then you're going to perform three reverse steps backwards. What that's gonna look like is just one, two, three. I'm going between the legs on every single one of those steps backwards. Once that ball gets to my opposite hand, for me, it's in my left, I'm going to drop and go between the legs. On that drop in between, now I'm gonna to touch the floor with my left hand, but should touch kind of on that right side. So as I go between, that's when I touch that floor. I'm working on shifting my weight and dropping my shoulder, selling that drive to the right side. So as I drop, I touch. Now from here, I cross over, getting into a one-two step right into my pull-up. I'm working on shifting my weight, I'm working on my handle, and I'm working on my pull-up at the same time. With these pull-up jump shots, we're trying to make 10 on each wing, so that should be 20 makes total. So lastly, with this drill, we have what's known as the star drill. You're going to start off with your head underneath the net. You're going to be running to these spots to just turn and catch and shoot. If you have a passer, just have them pass to you at each one of these spots. If it's just you by yourself, just roll the ball to yourself at each one of these spots. You're gonna start off running towards one of the corners. After you shoot, then you're going to go towards the opposite wing. After you shoot there, you're going to the other wing. After you shoot there, you're going to the opposite side corner. After that, you're going to finish off at the top of the key. So that's five total shots. What you're going to do is go through this five different times. If you are a beginner, your goal is to make between 12 to 15 shots. If you are a little bit more advanced, try to make five in a row each time you go through. 